Hey guys, let's jump right into this 360 frontal wig. This wig is from Wow African. And basically what a 360 frontal lace wig is, is when it has lace all around the wig from the front to the back um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off first by bleaching that lace and when you bleach your lace you're basically making those little black dots invisible so I've mixed up some bleach that I've gotten from Sally's I'll have all the detail information below and you want the consistency of this bleach to be very thick because you do not want the bleach to go through the cap and bleach the rest of the hair so I'm just going to continue to put the bleach all over the front. I'm not going to put any bleach in the back of the hair because I'm not going to be wearing this unit in a ponytail. But if you did want to wear this unit in a ponytail, it may be a good idea to bleach the back as well. So I let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, of course, watching it to make sure it didn't turn too golden. Um, and this is how it looks after I rinsed it out. I should have tinted the lace, but... I completely forgot about it so we'll go ahead and fix that I'll show you guys how to fix that in this video um, so as you can see I'm just pretty much parting the hair out it does look a little orange but that's because of the stocking cap that I have on if you continue to watch this video you will definitely see the uh, the part where you can see my cap and the part where you can see my actual scalp and you can see it right there where it's two different colors so that orangey brass color that you're seeing is actually from my wig cap but like I said I'm going to show you guys how to fix that so I'm just going to start off by straightening the hair oh my god y'all this wig is so thick and full um I don't know what the texture is of this wig I think it's more like a yakky texture because it feels so thick and so full it is a very beautiful wig so as you can see, I'm just pretty much straightening the hair out and I'm just flattening it out because it did have a lot of flyaway. So I'm just using um, the curling iron method to press down on the hair a little bit. And I do like to pluck my parts because I do like a more um, medium sized part. I don't like a skinny part. That's just my preference. You don't have to pluck your wigs, but I love to pluck mine. So I'm going to go in with some concealer, of course, and this is just going to make the lace a little bit more invisible. It's also going to conceal any little black dots that I was not able to get during the process of bleaching. And it also kind of covered up my cap that was on the orange side that was making the lace a little bit more orange. So now I'm just going to put some edge control on my edges to get them to lay a little bit more slicker. And this wig really does blend right on in to my edges. This is a very beautiful wig. I was so happy to get this wig because I didn't have to worry about actually making a unit with a 360 frontal. So I'm very pleased that Wild African provides a wig that is actually a 360 frontal that can be put in a ponytail. So this is pretty much the look after I have straightened out the hair. But I changed my mind and decided to put my hair in a ponytail instead. Some days I feel like this when I just want to wear a ponytail and I really don't want a lot of long hair. And I think this is the perfect wig for a ponytail because it's so thick and it's so full. And you see how flat this wig lays? It is gorgeous. I love this wig. If you guys are interested in purchasing this wig, I'll have the details below so you guys can check it out. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which will be the review of this beautiful 360 frontal wig.